Oh yes, folks, it's Thursday night, and you know what that means? It's time for a one-star Chinese munchy box, a wasky review, bloopers, and some fans clips. Oh, oh yes, you better believe it is Mandingo's rights. Alrighty, my fan sexuals. I've just been in my local pub for a nice black cock. Sorry, I mean black coffee, guys. I always get my words mixed up. And now I'm heading off to the town of Easton Colliery. I'm gonna do a review from a Chinese takeaway called Yu Chu. It's spelled Y U C H U. Yeah, it's got a miserable one star with the local council on the food hygiene rating. It's got a mixed bag. On the review, some people say it's nice, some people saying it's shite, some people saying terrible service, some people saying fantastic service. So yeah, it's a proper mixed bag, but I don't read too much into that, guys. I'm just gonna get there, get some nice scran dingo. That's the plan, dingo man dingoes, and then I'm gonna do some serious Borussia Munch and Gladbach. You better believe I am. Right then, guys, I'm now gonna head off and I'll bring you legends back when I'm at Easton Colliery. You better believe I will. Here than my fan sexuals, we're here. We've just parked up outside of YouTube Chinese takeaway. I've been in and I've gotten the menu just to have a quick look. Dingo, man, dingoes, and there's nothing I'm really fancying at the moment. There's nothing standing out, so I fancy a bit of a mix. I'm going to go for one of the munchy boxes. Right, there's a large one. There's a small one. You know me, guys. I don't do half measures. I'll get the large munch box which has got four chicken balls, four spring rolls, four crispy wontons, salt and pepper chicken, salt and pepper chips, salt and pepper spare whips, fried lysicles, and a choice of sauce. So I'll get the um, I'll get the curry sauce. And if you pay an extra two pound, you can have snoodles or prawn toast. So I think I'll pay the extra two pound and get some prawn toast. Oh yes. Well, 
I'm going to make my way over at the minute because when I popped in Fozzy Menu, there was no customers in. So I prefer to get in there when there's no one around. Makes it a bit easier for me. All in the old camaraderie. You know what I'm talking about. Right, guys, when I bring you back, I'm going to be making my way into YouTube, Chinese takeaway. And as usual, I'll point the camera down. I haven't got permission to record. He's only got a one star, so he's not going to want a camera shoved in his face. You better believe he's not. Okay then, guys, I'll bring you back in a couple of Neil Sadakas. Lice. I'll have to be careful, folks, because the delivery driver has just turned up. So I don't want him to see his recording and tell the, the man behind the counter. How then let's go and point the camera down now. Can I have the large munch box, please, with curry sauce? Yeah. And can I pay the extra money for the prawn toast, please? Yeah. That's it, yes? So that's it guys, that's a food ordered, £20 altogether for a big munch box and some prawn toast as well, curry sauce, there's all sorts in there. That's not a bad price. The menu said it was only £15.50 for the munch box and an extra £2 for prawn toast, but it was an old menu, the price has gone up. I knew the hard because I checked online earlier on, so I knew it was going to cost a little bit more than that. £20, you can't complain. Anyway, the food will be done dingoed any minute and dingoes, so I'm going to go back down now. And wait for my lovely scranding go. You know, make sense. Sell us your dog. Oh, yes, guys, I've got the food. That was good timing. He was just bagging it up. Let's go and park up somewhere and do some munching glad back. So I've just parked up guys in a windy Morrison's car park at Dalton Park. Let's have a quick look at this lunch box before I get settled and I get sat down to get stuck in. There we go guys. Oh, it's got a bit of everything in there. Fried lysicles, curry sauce, prawn toast, chicken balls, wontons, spare ribs, chips, salt and pepper chicken. Mmm, not bad. I'm trying to get stuck in this and when I bring it back, that is exactly what I'm going to be doing, getting stuck right in rice. Oh yes, here we go guys. Time to get stuck into this lovely looking munch box from Yuchu Chinese Takeaway in the town of Easton Colliery. Colliery? <laughs> right, I'm going to get straight into a few chipperoonies, salt and pepper, chipperoonies guys. Still nice and hot, nice and tasty. Loads of like onions and peppers and mm-hmm. Good start, guys. Mmm. Little tingle on the old tongue dingo. That's exactly what you want. Let's try the curry sauce. Mmm. Mmm. That curry sauce is absolutely perfect. Just the way I like it. All righty. <coughs> and a bit spicy as well. <coughs> oh, I like it. I like it a bit spicy. I wasn't expecting that. Normally when you get your a tub of bog standard curry sauce from a Chinese takeaway, it's not normally spicy. But that's got a little bit of a kick to it. Anyway, let's get some prawn toast. In the old mouth dingo. Mm-hmm. 
That's as good as any prawn toast I've had before. No wrong with that at all, guys. A big curry sauce on there. The old curry katona sauce. Mmm. Oh yes, very nice indeed. Mmm. This takeaway, I must have only recently got the one star because I've got this app on my phone and it's always updating. I'm always checking and looking for the zero, the one or the two star takeaways around about the northeast where I live. And I was checking East and Colliery before, because I haven't done a review there, and there was nothing. There was nothing less than three stars. So I don't know what's happened. I don't want to know. God knows what's going on in the kitchen. But um, no wrong with the food. Up to now, guys. Well, let's try a chicken ball in butter. Hmm. Whenever we get these munchy boxes from different places, And me and Mrs. Blot and my son shared out. My son Preston always claims these. He likes the chicken balls and butter. And he would definitely like them because them are quite decent. Mmm. As good as any chicken ball you'll get. You know, sometimes you go to these buffet Chinese restaurants. There's one in Sunderland City Centre called. Panda Buffet, and I've been to other ones as well. And them, them are as good as the ones you get in a restaurant where you sit down for a meal. Not bad at all, guys. In fact, better than not bad. Really, really nice. I'm gonna go for a few more chips. I'm spitting food all over, guys. But that's what happens when you're doing a review and I'm eating and I'm talking at the same time. Mm -mm. You guys know I love my chips. And I've said before many times, if the chips are shite, it's a good indicator that the rest of the food isn't going to be up to much. Them are really nice chips. Mm. Well, I'm going to go up for a crispy wonton. The old wonton fooey. Not bad. Nice crunch to them. They've been deep fried for the perfect amount of time. Mmm. Very nice. Everything so far has been very nice. Big Kerry Katona on there, guys. Spot on. Oh, well, then it's time for a salt and pepper spare rib. The old spare rib dingoes. Mm. Plenty of meat on there. Very nice, nice and soft, not chewy. Sometimes you get spare ribs from somewhere, don't you? When there's hardly any meat on. Mm -hmm. I'll have another one of them. You better believe I will. Oh. I am really enjoying this, guys. I was a bit unsure before I came. One star Chinese, this can, can be a little bit dodgy. And the reviews were very mixed. There was some terrible reviews. I didn't want to tell you what them ones are. You know, I, d I don't want to make the place look bad. I was just hoping that them reviews of people, I just like to complain. 
You get some people like that, don't you guys, who just complain for nothing. I tell you what, there is nothing wrong with this at all. When I went in, it wasn't the best looking takeaway. The place could do with a lick of paint, if you know what I mean, guys. But um, I, them's the kind of takeaways where you get a good surprise. You look at them and you think, looks a bit rough in here, and you get a really good meal. Mm. And that's exactly what I've getting, guys. A really good meal. I'll not eat all of this, man. I'm going to try everything. Later on tonight, I'll go back to it. And I don't waste anything. So first thing in the morning, I'll blast what's left in the microwave. You know what makes sense, guys. How are them? What else am I going to try? Some of the salt and pepper chicken. Mm -hmm. Decent butter. Not too crispy, not too soggy. Lovely dip in the curry sauce. Mmm. Try a couple of chips and... Chicken and chips together at exactly the same time. Oh. Absolutely lovely, jubbly, and that'll ding dang do for me. Is the sea in the back streets of Brooklyn? You better believe they do. Well, is there anything else I need to try? Yes. Spring rolls, mini spring rolls. They look just like the bog standard type you get from a Chinese takeaway. Exactly what I expected. Spot on. No wrong with it. Nothing wrong at all. Well, there's only one more of these left, and I don't like heating these up in the microwave. So I might as well munch it now, guys. Hmm. I'll tell you what, if you're in the area, or you're just a short drive away, and you don't mind hopping in the car and driving to Asian and Colliery, get yourself to U2 Chinese Takeaway. If this is the kind of thing you like, a good old munch box. I promise you, you will not be disappointed, guys. Mm. I am thoroughly enjoying it. Well, I need a tie. I need a tie. <laughs> it's not Thai food, it's Chinese food. I need to try some of the fried licicles. Mm. Still red hot even though it's been open for a few minutes. Nice. We'll give it chicken there. And chicken, fried lice, and curry sauce all together. Mmm. <laughs> that is exactly what I'm talking about, Mandingos. Lovely jubbly. I think I'll do that again. Bit fried lice. Little bit chicone waver. Curry sauce. Oh yes, look at that. A thing of beauty. Mmm. Everything, everything has been really nice. I was thinking to myself, right, some of it might be nice, some of it might be bang average. No, everything has been spot on. I'm gonna go back for a little bit more prawn toast with some 
salt and pepper chipperonis. Get that dip in the curry, guys. Mmm. <laughs> Perfect the Mondo Mandingos, as they say in the south of France. I think you can see how much I'm enjoying it. Twenty pound. You can't go wrong, can you? Twenty pound. Easily go between a family of three. I bought this, and I know I'll not eat it all. I'll not eat it all in one sitting. But yeah, easily go between a family of three. So when you look at it like that, it's not too expensive. Well, I'll have this one ton as well, because I don't like putting them in the microwave either. The chicken, the chips, the prawn toast, the lice, that'll all go on a plate in Z Morgan, and I'll have that for my breakfast tomorrow. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, guys. Oh, yes. Well, I can't fault it in any way at all. Portion size, more than enough. Value for money, I've already said, 20 squidlies. Can't go wrong, dingo man dingoes, as they say, in the mountain villages of Patagonia. And food quality, need I say any more? You can see I've thoroughly enjoyed it. So, I can't give it any less than a 9.5 out of 10 dingo man dingoes. Oh yes, you better believe that's a score I'm giving. YouTube, eat some curry, munchy box, with curry sauce, fried lice, prawn toast, everything, it's got everything in there. 9.5 for this mandingo. Well guys, that's the end of this food review. <laughs> One of the best ones yet. I'm now gonna go home. I'm gonna sit and chill out for a few little Winnie Mandela's. Then, I'm gonna bring you back I'm going to jump in the pack of the Block Mobile. We're going to talk some shite. We're going to do a world famous Waski with you. I'm going to show you some bloopers and then some fans clips. Oh, oh yes. <laughs> Pardonski. See you soon. <laughs> well, guys, thank you very much for joining me in the back of the Block Mobile. It is almost time for the world famous Waski with you. But before that, as usual, we're gonna talk a little bit shite. First of all, I wanna say a ginormous thank you to everyone that tuned in and watched my very first Wednesday night wild camping video. It is very much appreciated, guys. You do not believe how chuffed I am with the support I've had for that video. So yeah, thank you so much. If you haven't watched it, guys, you know what to do. Go back and check it out. It was only Wednesday when it went on. So, yeah, feel free to watch it at your leisure. You know what makes sense, man, dingoes. Oh, this is going to be a nice wasky. The one sherry cask finish. Kindly bought for me from a legend by the name of Tommy Donicky. Cheers, Tommy, my man friend. Yeah. Answer a little quick question first before I do this, guys. Loads of people have been asking, have you upgraded your camera? Have you brought a, a new cameraman, Dingo? Because the, the picture seems to be a lot crisper and better quality. Well, as I've said before, I always just record on my phone. The Blot Outdoor Show is a very low-budget channel. I am fortunate enough, I'm in a position where I can buy a better camera that costs a decent amount of money. But I always think, why fix what's not broke? My channel works the way it works the way I've always done it. Low budgets, nothing fancy, not special, just like me. You know the score, guys. But um, I upgraded my phone a few weeks ago. Um, I was using the Samsung S10 Plus, 
and now I've got the Samsung S23 Ultra. So that's all it is. It's just a upgrade in my phone, but it has got a better quality picture. And on the Wednesday night video that I've just done in the Lake District, it did pick up some like amazing footage, really good crisp quality. And um, normally I'm just doing the stealth camping, you know, and I'm in minging scruffy places, so. The camera's not really doing itself justice, if you know what I'm talking about, Mandingos. So you'll see better footage on the Lake District or the wild camping videos in general. Anyway, that's enough me talking shite. Time for the world famous Waski review. And thanks again to Tommy Donaghy for this. The one Sherry Cask Blended Waski. Now, I know some blended Waskies are shite, but I know that these ones are absolute quality. I done one a couple of years ago and it was the port cask finish. And it's actually made in the Lake District. It's the Lakes Distillery. You know, you normally associate your waskies with the obvious places like Scotland and Ireland. And then obviously you've got loads of like American ones. Even the Welsh are doing some cracking waskies. But um, I, this one's made in England. In the Lakes Distillery, my favourite place, the Lake, the Lake District. So I, <laughs> I'm looking forward to trying this one. Put that in there, guys, and let's get this popped in. The old famous cup dingo, man dingoes. Oh, oh, oh yes, you know it makes total sense. Right, and let's get the old baker room in it, guys. But well, it has got a sherry thing straight away. Talk about stating the obvious, but also like a a little bit of a peat smell, the old peat tongue. There's some ginger in there as well. The old ginger spice. Slight little gagaroni of Jerry Halliwell. But lots of sherry coming through there. Ginger, maybe some other spices. Yeah, overpowering sherry smell. And I ain't complaining about that because I like a nice sherry now and again. Anyway, guys, that's enough of the sniffing. Let's get on with the tasting. Ricicles. Mm. A little bit nutty. Like a slight chocolatey taste. So dare I say like a like a fruit nut, you know, if you like a chocolate with nuts in, like a nice fruit nut, chocolatey flavour. Very good start. Peppery. A little bit toffee. Maybe like a treacle toffee. It's peppery, it's tingling the tongue, the old tongue dingo. But it's not really spicy, you know, it's not making us go, <clears throat> you know. Like a toffee, like a treacle toffee type of flavour. It is really nice. It's, it's, you know, as soon as you smell it, as soon as you taste it, you know you're getting a sheer quality. The old sheer the booth. There you go, the one pot cask finish. Let's have another taste, guys. It's quite rich and it's oily in the mouth. It's not cheap and watery like a lot of blended waskies are. It's like a nice quality silky oil feeling. Oil feeling as it goes down your throat dingo. Amazing. Down the hatch guys. Mmm. It's got some dry fruits. Maybe it's like sultanas. Mmm. And the very lightest, faintest, smoky finish to it. What a really enjoyable wasky. I will definitely 100 percent be investing in a full-size bottle of that. A full-size bottle will set you back around the 40 pound. 
skin mark. I mean mark, guys. Yes. So once again, a massive thank you to Tommy Donicky for that. Thank you so much, my man friend. The Lakes Distillery. This one's called the One Sherry Cask Finish. I've got to give it a big, fat, juicy 9.3 out of 10 dingo man dingoes. Oh, yes. You know what makes sense. And you know what I'm talking about. This is serious wasky tasting. Well, man dingoes, it's almost the end of the video. I'm now going to leave you with a few bloopers and a few fans clips. Thanks for sending all the fans clips in, guys. I love watching them. Send us some more. Keep sending them in through email, blotoutdoors at outlook.com or PM me through Instagram. That's it, man dingoes. Pardon, Ski. I hope you've enjoyed this video. <laughs> Give us a thumbs up. Leave us a comment. You know what I'm talking about. And please join me on my next... When's my next video? Friday. This is Friday. Sunday night. <laughs> join me on Sunday night for my next epic stealth comment adventure. It's a good one, guys. You don't want to miss out on this one. A good laugh, as usual. And join me next Wednesday on another wild camp where I'll be joined by the two Chris's. So that should be a right scream. Ah! <laughs> Screaming like a banshee. See you later, guys. You better believe I will. Right. Oh, amazing. So welcome back to the Blood Outdoor Show, guys. Yes, we're back out on another stealth camp. That shit, mine went blank. Start again. Okay than my fan sexuals. <coughs> Pube in me throat. Yeah. Start again. How then? Let's show you my little setup for tonight. <coughs> More pubes in me throat. <coughs> Alrighty guys, time to show you my setup for tonight. So first I'm going to quickly mention the old heated jacket because this is part of my setup for tonight. As I've already mentioned, I'm using no tent, no tarp, no bivy and no sleeping bag. I'm relying on this and the heated glove dingoes to keep me warm through the night. Why am I looking down there? Why am I looking down there? <laughs> I need to look there, not down there. Alrighty guys, what am I laughing at? <laughs> I'm laughing at myself. Fucking losing the plot, mate. Like. Well, folks, it's 12.30 at night and it's been an absolutely fantastic night, hasn't it? Been great. Avenger. Fuck off. Get your bastard words out. Okay then, folks. It's 12.30 at night. I'm nice and snug in the sleeping bag. And in the bivvy, just need to get the old zipperonies up. Start again. Okay then my fansexuals, it's 12.30 at night, I'm in the bivvy, I'm nice and snug in the old Four Seasons sleeping bag. I'm going to get some shut eye now. Yeah. Good God almighty man. Getting tired. I cannot think of what to say. Last time. Alright, come on, come on. Oh, wrong key. Oh, too late. Shit. Well, folks, it's. Fuck off. Well, folks, it's Thursday. 
the 29th of February. I'm off to work in a minute, and tonight is going to be my very last night. Yeah, fucking hell, man. Why are you some lyrical fucking genius? Okay then, my fansexuals, I've just pulled up at work, parked up in the old car park. That's fucking shit. All right then, my fansexuals, I've just parked up in the works car park. I've got 20 minutes before my shift starts, so I'm going to go around all the lads on the early shift, shake hands with them all, say, good night, Vienna. What am I going to say? Let's fucking cock that. Yes, you know what time it is? Wasky time. Oh! The glove of self-love. Oh! Oh! from Connecticut. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, matron. The glove of self-love. Yeah. Right. Oh, oh matron. Oh. Rice. Right. Are you mad? Blot time, is it? It's wasky time. Right. And it goes. This is lovely, crispy, aromatic pizza. It smells like pizza. Tastes like pizza. I'm going to have to give this a solid, very good rating, mind you. 8.7. Ooh! That is lovely. Rice! Oh, my turn. Oh! Oh! Time for a little chest warmer. The glove of self love. Oh, yeah. Ah, mm, Matron. Ew, Matron. The glove of self love. Oh, matron. Oh. The glove of self love. Oh, matron. Oh. Oh. A glove and self love. Hey, mate. Sell us your jar, spoon. Oh, matron. The glove of self love. Hey, you matron, we're gonna need a new glove. Ah. Uh. Hey, mate. Show us your jar, boom. Now you're far. <laughs> hey, mate. Why, well, you're some good looking. Oh, matron. The glove of self love. Ah. Uh -huh. Oh. Oh. You know, it's my turtle sense might very nice.